Elon Musk has become a de facto leading voice about the potential of robotics and artificial machine learning, and has issued both cool predictions and scary ones. Hello viewers, welcome back to yet another video on our channel. Today we will share with you Elon Musk reacts to AI robots taking flight for the first time. So stay tuned till the end of the video to find out and let's get right into it. We're currently living in an era of automation, where autonomous robots and vehicles are taking over the entire tech sector. Over the past few years, there has been a surge in the innovation of autonomous robots like drones, wheeled or legged robots, bird-like robots, and so much more for more advanced and potentially dangerous tasks that cannot be performed by humans. Even though autonomous technology is still at a very nascent stage, researchers and scientists are continually experimenting with the technology and innovating creative products and applications. One such innovation is the flying robot which has excited almost every tech enthusiast about the future of the industry. RoboBee is a tiny robot capable of partially untethered flight, developed by a research robotics team at Harvard University. The culmination of 12 years of research, RoboBee solved two key technical challenges of micro-robotics. Engineers invented a process inspired by pop-up books that allowed them to build on a sub-millimeter scale precisely and efficiently. To achieve flight, they created artificial muscles capable of beating the wings 120 times per second. The goal of the RoboBee project is to make a fully autonomous swarm of flying robots for applications such as search and rescue, surveillance, and artificial pollination. To make this feasible, researchers needed to figure out how to get power supply and decision-making functions, which are currently supplied to the robot via a tiny tether which is integrated within the main body. The 3 cm 1.2 inch wingspan of RoboBee makes it the smallest man-made device modeled on an insect to achieve flight. Iron Cub is the synthetic humanoid robot that is quite literally taking robotics to new heights, as it's designed to soar the skies Iron Man style. Iron Cub has two jet engines clipped onto the back of the robot and two jet engines on the forearms. It is also sporting what looks like a cool pair of metallic pants, but it's actually made of heat resistant material to protect the robot from the jet engine's fire. However, a new and updated version of Iron Cub has flame protective coverings on its legs and feet. It is difficult to measure thrust force, so they're usually estimated based on data collected by onboard sensors. Now the IIT, Italian Institute of Technology team, has introduced a new framework that can estimate thrust intensities of flying multi-body systems that are not equipped with thrust measuring sensors. This framework could ultimately help them realize their envisioned flying humanoid robot. One of the key aims for this project is making robotic aerial manipulation more robust and energy efficient than ever before. As explained by Danielle Pucci, head of the Artificial and Mechanical Intelligence Lab at the Institute, aerial humanoid robots can be technologically, socially, and scientifically beneficial. Aerial humanoid robots like Iron Cub can help improve flying robots which are mostly quad rotors equipped with a robotic arm. Wait, before we move on, if you're enjoying this video, make sure to show your love and support by giving it a big thumbs up and subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay updated of our future uploads. Now, without further ado, let's get back to our video. Simon, Crew Interactive Mobile Companion, is a head-shaped AI robot used in the International Space Station. The device is an AI-based assistant for astronauts, developed by Airbus and IBM with funding from the German Aerospace Center. The device is modeled after the character of Professor Simon Wright, the flying brain, from the anime series Captain Future. Simon runs on Ubuntu, while its natural language capability is supplied by IBM Watson. Simon maneuvers through the space station using fans. The goal of Simon is to reduce stress. Judith Irina Buckheim and Alexander Choker, the advisors of Simon, claim, as a partner and assistant, Simon could support astronauts with their high workload of experiments and maintenance and repair work, thereby reducing their exposure to stress. Simon acts like a hands-free database, computer, and camera. Astronauts can fully control Simon by using voice commands. Simon can be told to search for objects, take stock of inventory, or go somewhere to take pictures of an object and return to the astronaut. Simon tries to recognize what emotions astronauts have. Matthias Biniak, the lead architect for Simon 2, says Simon is trying to understand if the astronaut is sad, is he angry, joyful, and so on, in order to create a true companion. If Simon does not understand what the astronaut asked, he will say, sorry, I'm just a robot, I don't know everything you mention. 
Moreover, Simon can either be docked on an arm attached to the ship, or can float freely, using his fans to fly around and maneuver himself. Engineers are also interested in using Simon for processing big data, data mining, and evaluating the current capabilities of artificial intelligence. Flying Fruit Picking Robot eases the labor crisis that's forcing farmers to let crops rot on the tree. They're fitted with cameras that assess the exact size and color of each piece of fruit, and only pick what's perfectly ripe. They also provide the farmer with invaluable data, real-time updates on harvesting progress, time to completion, quantity picked, and cost. Tavel Aerobotics Technologies, an Israeli startup, has developed the world's only flying autonomous robots, FARs, that pick fruit. There are other robot solutions for fruit picking, but they are big ground-based machines that aren't as agile, efficient, or cost-effective. Tavel can deploy dozens of its FARs across an entire orchard, either four or eight tethered to a mobile platform, during the small time window when a crop is ready to harvest. A closed door is just one of many flying obstacles that poses no barrier to a new type of flying, micro-tugging robot called a flycro-tug. Outfitted with advanced gripping technologies and the ability to move and pull on objects around it, two flycro-tugs can jointly lasso the door handles and leave the door open. Developed in the labs of Mark Kutkowski, the Fletcher Jones Chair in the School of Engineering at Stanford University, and Dario Floriano at the École Polytechnique Federale de Lausanne in Switzerland. Flycro tugs are micro air vehicles that the researchers have modified so that the vehicles can anchor themselves to various surfaces using adhesives inspired by the feet of geckos and insects, previously developed at Kutkowski's lab. With these attachment mechanisms, Flycro tugs can pull objects up to 40 times their weight, like door handles in one scenario, or cameras and water bottles in a rescue situation. Similar vehicles can only lift objects about twice their own weight using aerodynamic forces. It is great that AI is advancing at such a great rate, but there are also people who are worried about its downsides, and Elon Musk is one of them. Elon Musk is usually far from a technological pessimist. From electric cars to Mars colonies, he's made his name by insisting that the future can get here faster. But when it comes to artificial intelligence, he sounds very different. Speaking at MIT in 2014, he called AI humanity's biggest existential threat and compared it to summoning the demon. Musk's reasoning was that the reliance on AI to perform seemingly simple tasks over time create an environment in which humans forget how to operate the machines that enabled AI in the first place. Musk tweeted, even benign dependency on AI automation is dangerous to civilization if taken so far that we eventually forget how the machines work. The argument came in a follow-up post, recommending E.M. Forster's 1909 dystopian short story, The Machine Stops. The story predicted a future in which humanity is over-reliant and subordinate to machines. Musk was an early investor in OpenAI, the startup behind ChatGPT, and co-chaired its board upon its 2015 founding as a non-profit AI research lab. But Musk only lasted there for a few years, resigning from the board in early 2018, in a move that the San Francisco startup tied to Tesla's work on building automated driving systems. Earlier this year, Musk was among a group of technology and AI luminaries, including Andrew Yang and Steve Wozniak, who penned an open letter urging a moratorium on the development of AI, citing profound risks to society and humanity. So that brings us to the end of our video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to share your views in the comment section down below. And until next time, goodbye!